Tuesday on CNN, Representative Ed Perlmutter made comments about advisors to Donald Trump who take the Fifth Amendment while testifying before the House Select Committee are doing so to evade a death sentence. Perlmutter began his comments by noting the oath of office that Donald Trump took at his 2017 inauguration. Here's a look at the CNN clip. This is the president's oath. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. I'm surprised, because I think what we're going to get next from Mr. Meadows is probably something like we got from Mr. Clark about the uh, desire to take the Fifth Amendment, because 18 U.S.C. 115, following... You know, Article 3, Clause 1, treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to the enemies, giving them aid and comfort. Treason um, uh, is defined, going back to dictionary, uh, treason is the crime of attacking a state authority to which one owes allegiance. And what you've described is the minute uh, Donald Trump said fake news, all of a sudden everything stops because there's a pledge of allegiance to Donald Trump above and beyond the Constitution here, which really is uh, frightening. And 18 U.S.C. 115, which is why I think that we're going to see the Fifth Amendment being pled, Whoever, owing allegiance to the United States, levies war against them or adheres to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason and shall suffer death. I mean, this is a death penalty statute. Or shall be imprisoned not less than five years and fined under this title but not less than $10,000 and shall be incapable of holding any office under the United States. And... Just the, the memos that have been disclosed to this point, in my opinion, are treasonous. And we've danced around this a lot, and we talk about obstructing Congress and things like that, but this was an effort to have a coup, to overthrow the country, to break the pledge of allegiance we make to this country and to the Constitution. According to USA Today, the House could vote as early as Tuesday on whether to cite former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows with contempt and urge the Justice Department to prosecute him after the Rules Committee sent the measure to the floor. The committee voted 8-4 to four to set one hour for debate with no amendments. If the full House agrees, Meadows would be the second Trump advisor to be found in contempt in the January 6 investigation. Political strategist Steve Bannon vowed to fight two criminal contempt charges with the trial set for July 18th. Representative Jim McGovern said, quote, Based on what we've already seen, I shudder to think what else Mr. Meadows is trying to hide. What we already know and what is already clear is that there was an attempted coup that day, aided and abetted from the top down. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw too.